Greetings, mystery enthusiasts, and welcome to Unseen Reviewers, where we delve into the unseen mysteries of literature. Here, we unfurl the pages of thrillers, suspense, and the unknown, bringing you closer to the enigmas hidden within. Today, we're turning our discerning eye to The Constant Gardener by John Le Carre, a tale steeped in mystery and intrigue. With us, you'll explore its depths without fear of spoilers. Today, we uncover the secrets of The Constant Gardener without spoiling the plot. Ready to join us? John Le Carre's The Constant Gardener is a gripping tale of love, loss, and corporate conspiracy. Set against the breathtaking backdrop of Kenya, the narrative weaves the lives of Justin and Tessa Quayle into a tapestry of mystery and suspense. Justin, a British diplomat, is the constant gardener, a man of quiet resolve and unwavering dedication. Tessa, his outspoken and passionate wife, is a relentless advocate for social justice. Their seemingly tranquil lives are upended when Tessa stumbles upon a dangerous corporate conspiracy with far-reaching implications. As the plot thickens, Justin finds himself embroiled in a desperate search for truth, navigating the treacherous terrain of corruption, power, and deceit. The Quail's story is a poignant exploration of love's resilience in the face of adversity, and a scathing critique of unchecked corporate greed. Intriguing, isn't it? But that's just the surface of this deep and complex narrative. Ola Carré's mastery lies not just in the plot, but also in his exploration of profound themes and his distinct writing style. One of the most striking themes of The Constant Gardener is corruption, an insidious presence that permeates every corner of the story. It's a chilling portrayal of how greed can twist even the noblest of intentions. The book also delves into the complexities of love and sacrifice. We see this in the relationship between the protagonist, Justin Quayle, and his wife, Tessa. Their love story is not just about romance, but about how far one is willing to go to uncover the truth and seek justice for a loved one. Le Carre also paints a vivid picture of the moral complexities of the modern world. The story doesn't shy away from raising difficult questions about ethics, power, and the price of progress. When it comes to writing style, Le Carre is a master of suspense. He weaves a web of intrigue that keeps you hooked from the first page to the last. His characters are well-crafted, each with their unique strengths and flaws, making them feel incredibly real. The settings, too, are described with such detail that you can almost smell the African soil and feel the tension in the air. Le Carre's The Constant Gardener is not just a mystery, it's a mirror reflecting our world. Now, as unseen reviewers, our aim is not just to summarize, but to engage in thought-provoking discussions. After all, a good book demands more than a mere summary, it invites us to delve deeper into its nuances and secrets. So, let's get into it. The Constant Gardener by John Le Carre is undoubtedly a compelling read. Its strengths lie in its intricate plot, well-rounded characters, and the author's ability to weave a tale that keeps you on your toes. Le Carre masterfully blends suspense and emotion, creating a narrative that is as heart-wrenching as it is thrilling. The characters are far from one-dimensional. They are flawed, relatable, and their struggles resonate with us, making the story all the more engaging. The novel's exploration of political corruption and global pharmaceutical industries' malpractice is thought-provoking, pushing us to question the realities we often choose to ignore. However, no book is without its shortcomings. Some readers might find the pacing a bit slow at times. The narrative occasionally delves into intricate details, which, while enriching the story, might make it a bit hard to follow. The political and corporate machinations, though central to the plot, could be complex possibly overwhelming for those unfamiliar with such themes. But remember, these are just my thoughts. Books, like any form of art, are subjective. What one person finds enthralling, another might find tedious. It's the beauty of literature. It allows for a myriad of interpretations, each as valid as the next. So I encourage you to pick up The Constant Gardener, dive into its pages, and form your own opinion. We hope you enjoyed this journey into The Constant Gardener. Do you agree with our thoughts? What's your take on the book? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And remember, the mystery is always unseen until you choose to see it.